Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm actually going to send a result if your printer icon is not showing underneath devices and printers on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is start by opening up the search menu, type in troubleshoot, best match, come back with troubleshoot settings, go ahead and open that up. On the right side, you want to select other troubleshooters. Go ahead and left click on that. And then underneath most frequent, select the printer troubleshooter here. So go ahead and run that. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of here. Close out of here as well. Something else I recommend doing would be to update your printer drivers. I would look at the printer, your specific printer name and model, and then I'd go on the internet. So it doesn't matter which web browser you use. But for example, let's say you had an Epson printer. So you just type in Epson printer update. Go ahead and search for it. You want to go to an Epson direct web page here, so like Epson.com. Don't click on any advertisements. You want to go directly to the manufacturer support page. And again, just about every major manufacturer will have a utility like this. So you can see the Epson software updater. And you would go ahead and follow along with the on-screen prompts here about downloading the utility. And you would probably want to power cycle your printer as well, so turn it off and turn it on again. See if that's a potential workaround for you too. So again, this is just Epson, for example. So just to show you guys that I'm not making it up, I could type in brother printer updater. And so you see on this page, update the firmware using the firmware update tool. Go ahead and open that up, just for example, and you'll see that there is a tool that you go ahead and download. And pretty straightforward process on how to do that, guys, again. You can also try uninstalling and then reinstalling the printer. So if you just want to completely remove the printer drivers and then manually, either if you have a CD that came with the printer or going back onto the manufacturer's website, you can reinstall the printer software. So just if you want to do a clean install, basically, we're going to open up the search menu. Type in printers, best match, come back with printers and scanners. Go ahead and open that up. You will select the printer you're having the problem with, and you would select remove, select yes, and now you close out of here, and you would restart your computer. And once your computer has restarted, you would go ahead and locate the printer drivers for your applicable printer. Or in a lot of cases, if you do plug your printer back in, if you have a physical cable connecting your printer to your computer, it should automatically download drivers. Windows is pretty good for detecting printer drivers nowadays. So, like I said, pretty straightforward process. Do a BIOS able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.